Hi you guys, welcome to the channel. Thank you all for being here. Today is a very, very special day. The collective out there is about to burn through a bunch of karma. Yeah, and when I say burn, this is gonna feel really, really good. It is going to be weird because you haven't ever stepped into this kind of cool fire burn before. And then after that, you're going to receive information, knowledge, wisdom. After that, you're gonna clear your mind. After that, you're going to set yourself free like a whale. I've been getting downloads for hours. So we're gonna get into it and that's how it's gonna happen. And today is a very lucky day. And when your mind is clear and you love yourself and you love your life and you appreciate everything in it, you have to appreciate everything in it. All the lessons, everything. The moment that you guys are saying to yourselves, I hate it, 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 I hate it. Guess what? That's what you're getting. Hate, 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 and more hate. You know it's there, right? But are you paying attention to it? Yeah, that's right. Today is a very special day. Sit with that, you guys. Sit with me here. It's a very lucky day. And when it comes to fire, fire is everything. You guys, it is your passion. It's your desire. It's your freaking heart, man. I'm looking at the chart. There's a grand cross. I didn't know that until right now. Saturn retrograde 50, 15 degrees Pisces. The MC is at 10 degrees, Gemini. Get out of here. Thank you, Gem, Gem, Gemini. The Ascendant, oh my God, is at 13, the death, Virgo. Strength. And the Moon is in Sagittarius. Thank you, Sagittarius. And the Finger of God, Virgo, Capricorn, and Pisces. Yes, Pisces, you win. You know, some of you guys are actually Aquarius Pisces, but you don't know that yet. It's, it, we're not going to go into that sidereal stuff. But anyway, today is a very beautiful day. It's an amazing day. It's a day of Mars. It's a day of action. It's ruled by Mars. I don't know why. It's just a rule. <gasps> Stop. Stop it. Aquarius, Jupiter, and justice, the 11th house. We're rolling the dice today, ladies and gentlemen. What do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about the doorway to Jupiter and the mind here? How does that make you feel? Expansion. Knowing that we don't know everything, but what we're gonna know for sure is we're right here, right now. I can't even begin to articulate the visions that the universe has shown me nearly all night long about where we're at, who we are, light bodies inside of this thing. Eucalyptus. I don't know what that means. Somebody knows. Eucalyptus. Hang it in your house and you'll breathe easy. It's some sort of magical thing. So, what am I talking about today? The 11th house? What is the 11th house? Your community, the collective. Huge groups. The, collect, the entire world, if you will. Your social circle. Wishes, earned wealth, philanthropy, adopted, and stepchildren, it says. Career, ambition, social status, reputation, power, social causes, fame, and the dominant parent is in the 10th house. 
Jupiter is Sagittarius. And Aquarius is an air sign that sits in the constellation of the healing waters. Higher education and travel. Our, our point of interest, you guys, is right now. We have it all. We are all. We are everything. We're, we're right now. You know, Mars is also ruling aggression, assertion, the action steps that you take. Like working out your body. No one's going to get you up but you. No one's going to get you out of bed every morning but you guys. I'm not going to do it. I might inspire you to do it. But you're going to want, you're going to be the one who's going to take the action. Right? You're the one who's going to cross those T's and dot the I's. You're the one who's going to get to the store and get your groceries and cook the stuff. The simple things. Some of you guys want to move beyond the simple things. And I respect that. And remember, whatever it is that you're wanting, there's a reason. There's a reason. If you want something, there's a reason. If you want love, there's a reason. Do you want love because you're lacking love? Or do you want love because you'd like to feel love? Or do you want love because you want to share love? Or what's the reason? And yeah, God was talking to me about that. And I'm using myself as an example because that's what the universe always does. They always use me as an example. Jupiter in the sun and Pluto. Scorpio, transformation, destruction, power, intensity, and wealth. Cancer, Gemini, and Aquarius are important. The seventh house, the tenth house, and the eleventh house are important. I'm gonna I'm gonna see here real quick. Partnerships, relationships, marriage, life partner, business partner, relating foreign affairs and contracts. Many of you have uh, the Nine of Pentacles popped out here. Independently wealthy, wanting to live in a state of loveliness. Maybe you guys like birds. You guys have come from the bottom because the universe is pointing out that snail. Look how far you guys have come. A change is coming. I'm going to put that back in. A change is coming, you guys. It's really good, though. So, more of the download was about expanding your mind and not allowing other people to infiltrate it. Now, I know I was under a lot of spell work, you guys, because the reason why is the Holy Spirit wanted me to understand that I can say no to all of it. I have the power. Okay, so they're doing it, right? I'm aware of it, right, you guys? I, I, I'm catching the energy. And I'm like, where is that coming from? Who would be planting that seed? Where is that weird thought coming th from? Well, it comes from everywhere and anywhere. And, and sometimes people who know you. And Pisces are, they collect a lot of emotions. Other people's emotions their emotions and spirit has been talking to us about how we like literally for a couple weeks now almost daily and you guys are thinking oh we're talking about the same thing do you think we can move through all this in two weeks there's a lot to move through there's a lot of emotions in one drop try to daily Say to yourself the words, I have everything I need and want and more. And I, I have access to all of it. Nothing is hidden from me. I am perfect, whole, and complete. I'm perfect, whole, and complete. I have everything I need. Everything I need. Yes. 
You are loved. Wishes do come true. Miracles do happen. Very likely because you're, you're enforcing it. I don't know why spirit keeps correcting my grammar, but hey, you know, maybe I should go to grammar class. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to get a tarot read here. This is the dice. The 11th house. You guys are loved. You guys have expansion. The sun is shining and Pluto is at 29 degrees. 29 degrees, all right? Oh, this light. Is, ugh, I'm not even thinking about that light right now. We have the Ten of Cups. It's the first card out. Happy family, the ancestors, a happy life here on Earth. Someone is being... Someone is being congratulated by the universe. That's the Ten of Damn Cups. I don't know. You guys are going to see rainbows through the clouds. Two of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Aquarius. Whatever it is that you guys are doing, you were, you're going to make it through. Whatever circumstances, you're going to make it through. You're going to manage. And the King of Swords is someone who is an authority. Someone who is an attorney. Someone who, he rules over the mind, you guys. He's the King of Swords. He's the King of Air. Aquarius, Aquarius, you're moving past karma. You have Dharma. You're receiving Dharma. Make a decision. Drop. There's some people here that are helping you. I was going to say something about some people who have passed on. People that you trust. This is a trustworthy guy. He might be grumpy. Maybe he's not grumpy, but he's... This man here is someone you can trust. You must trust this man. Or this could be you. Five of Wands. Equal, fair, justice. There's obviously something going on in the collective. Probably political. Don't listen to poly tricks. They're all, now we have another king of love and we have a knight of wands and we have five of swords. Conflict, changes, six of swords. Aggressive behavior, bullying behavior, one-upping and boundaries. You guys want love, you want fair, you want good contracts. That means you have to say no to all the other stuff. The five of wands and the five of swords. And you have to say yes to, I'm going to go away from these two things. I don't know what this person's doing. Some knight of wands is coming towards you. You have help, an opportunity, a gift that's being given. Someone is bringing you some very good news. Or our Holy Spirit is. I this King of Wands, uh, sorry, King of Swords up here. I think that person has an energy of The high authority. I think he's also admitting to himself that he's gotten a few things wrong and he's learned a few damn lessons. Six of Swords. 
and it just doesn't always pay to argue with everybody. You don't have to argue your point and I guess everybody has a side. Choose yours. And this woman down here, she's choosing peace and creativity, her psychic abilities, her children. That's her focus. This Knight of Wands, he could be a party. Party planner, party animal, party. He likes all the girls. Lovely, don't they all? This, this King of Wands wants love and he wants to bring you love. And there's the Three of Pentacles. And I told you guys that you were getting information. And I also said that this queen here is very wise, very smart. And she knows. She knows. When it's time to pause, take a time out. Virgo. Pisces. Thinking. This woman has already made her decision in life, and she's done. There's a Six of Wands and an Eight of Pentacles and a Nine of Swords. There is an air sign who either wants you stuck in your head or wants Pisces to be overthinking. And they could also have been taught this way. It needs to be cleared because all these bats... All this negativity here. All this smoke here. You're the star. You have, this is Aquarius energy again. Aquarius with the Knight of Swords and a king, a matching earth sign for the queen here. Having confidence in your ability and getting through Knowing that you are safe, knowing that you're all right, knowing that you're going to be taken care of. No one on the outside of you is going to reassure you. You have to reassure yourself inside. First and foremost, inside. When you feel stable inside, things begin to happen for you that you can't always account for. You're like, wow, wow, things are all of a sudden just getting better all of a sudden. Gee, I wonder why that is. Because you took a moment. You stopped fighting. Stopped allowing these bullies. These groups. These groups. Someone is learning a lesson. They're, they're moving past. You see, moving past. There's people who love you. Not everyone is against you. People have been against you and it's it's been a difficult time. This is a war, Mars energy. Warring, fire energy. So you guys take it for what it's worth. Are these things something that you really want to involve yourself in? Have you had enough of being around other people who are constantly battling you, constantly juggling you? When obviously you guys want to be loving, balanced, and feeling satisfied. This is ultimate fulfillment at the Ten of Cups. And honestly, with the Dharma here, with the justice here, I feel like you guys are looking at this behavior, these behaviors. Like, how do you get anything done? How do you get anything off the ground if everyone's always battling? And this juggling thing, that's, that's not much better. You can get through it. 
The high priestess is here in a matching fire sign. Couple. You know, fire, the energy of a leader man, a leadership gentleman, he should be a gentleman. He should come to you correct and give you what you deserve, what you desire. I don't know what these guys are learning out here. I think it's odd. That's my opinion. You know, if a woman is coming to a man, hey, I want to give you this, I want to give you that. You know, I almost feel like the women shouldn't give men anything at all. Don't allow yourselves to be juggled. Stay here. Receive. You have wisdom and knowledge. You've dedicated your life to something. I don't know what. Fire burns fast or it can burn long. But this person here is coming from an anger place. Anger, anger, anger. This one here is angry. A man of high, high ranking, a, a king of swords, he should know what to do. He's a king. He should know exactly what to do. A king of swords will guide you in the right direction. He has wisdom and knowledge. Spirit says he's not perfect. Four of cups. Ace of pentacles on the bottom. He wants to offer you something. Maybe emotions. Maybe now he's figuring out how to do his emotions. The two of pentacles on top of the five of wands. You guys are being juggled in some form or another. Just drop it. Just drop it. Drop whatever it is. Seriously, that, that, drop whatever it is and decide that you're not doing a certain something anymore. You're done. And then at the Eight of Pentacles, do whatever it takes. At the Eight of Pentacles, you know how to do this. You've done it a million times. Queen of Swords. Remember, at the Eight of Pentacles, this is no joke. You didn't just get to the Eight of Pentacles. It's self-mastery. It's knowing how to do it with your eyes closed. If you just believe in yourself again. Your own divinity. Your own happiness. If you guys want to know, the, the women out there, Balance up your energy. You'll have a man with a clear thinking mind and a man with a clear heart. And maybe with some passion. But right now, this Knight of Wands is coming from a Five of Swords. He's got a problem. He's always fighting with you. Seven of Pentacles... And the Four of Wands. This is the message today that you guys don't want to juggle. You don't want to fight. Okay, you know what you don't want. Yet, this is in the energy field, the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands. Air and fire. How do you stop air and fire? Queen of, 
Queen of Cup. I mean, excuse me, Queen of Pentacles. You ground. You're not going to pay attention. You're going to mind your what? Your own business. The high priestess doesn't really speak unless she feels like it. She's keeping it mum. And the letters B and J could be significant. And it all seems to matter today. The King of Cups to the Knight of Wands. Seven of Swords. Nice. Nice. Yeah, somebody's getting away with something. Someone is being dishonest. Someone is holding on to a fight and they want to come back for more. That is so, it is what it is. When you guys out there listening to this video, drop whatever it is. You're the high priestess. That was the clarifying card for the two of pentacles. You know what to do. You're going to have to close out the cycle. Just do it. You guys might be getting a divorce. But right after that, as soon as that is done... You're going to be happy again. It kind of sucks is what I'm hearing. It kind of sucks, but it's going to be okay though. Because guess what? You weren't happy anyway. And don't let anybody pretend and, and say, oh, it was also really good. No, it wasn't. Nine of Pentacles again. Yeah, I think you guys are going to be single and successful for a while. Your manifestation point in life. Ten of Cups again. Stop. Somebody wants to show you off. Page of Pentacles. In love. Five of Wands again. Ace of Swords. Sleeping Beauty. Nine of Swords. We had that in the other. Eight of Swords. Death and the Tower. You want to break out of something. You want to break out of this old mindset. The only one that's going to save you is you. Two of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Two of Swords. You're not going to get anyone to change their mind. In fact, they would rather see you asleep. I don't know why I'm sharing what what the cards are saying you guys know why people want to keep you asleep or why you want to stay asleep maybe you're tired of dealing with reality maybe you're just exhausted take a nap but i know you guys are warriors I know you had a, a rough start, but you've already overcame that at the Nine of Pentacles. It came up twice. I want you to, to sit in the wisdom and the knowledge that you guys got this. You're going to do it. I don't know you guys out there at Nine of Wands. Yeah, you're tired of these guys. Don't hang around them. Don't give them your energy. They want to act like a clown. Queen of Pentacles, Six of Cups. So you guys run into people, right? The Wheel of Fortune. You guys know. Because you're you're intuitive. You're you got this. You're intuitive. You know what's happening. You catch a clue. 
without even like you just know they're your partner they're this and that and the other okay but they don't know And if they don't, if they don't meet this hierophant, if they don't like have a spiritual understanding, it's going to leave you confused. Five of swords. Seven of swords. I feel like a lot of men are playing women. I don't, this is how it is on the love thing today. I'm telling you, check, check out of the, the crazy hotel, ladies. Check out. Seven of Swords on the bottom. You're not chasing anything. You're a freaking Queen of Pentacles. King of Swords again. What's behind him? Seven of Swords, Page of Wands. Well, that's what Spirit is wanting you guys to know. If they're not for you, they're not for you. Keep it moving. Don't let, don't let some jackass knight of wands drag you through the mud again. The king of, the king of cups came up with the seven of swords, you guys, in the reading. We can't deny it. That's what it is. That's where, that's where he's at. Love bombing, saying all the things you want to hear so he can stay in your energy field. Bye bye. Don't, don't have me up here swearing because I will. <laughs> bye bye, mofo. Y'all know what I'm going to say. Moon wishes, the moon shows me patience. The lunar cycles every 30 days. And my voice is heard in the world. Number 15, number 28, create a spiral. I am flowing with the seasons. Look at you, you little creator, animal lover, moon walker, shield of crystals, Nine of Pentacles, I have the confidence to be myself. I'm enough. Magic circle. You guys just need some rest. You're tired. You're exhausted. I love my body. I am grateful and blessed. The King of Swords knows. He even knows he probably should let you go. He knows. He's a lesson learned. He couldn't make up his mind. He didn't know how to do it. He couldn't figure out his heart. Four of Cups. Bigger and better, ladies. No more. You guys, um, you guys know what to do. You can do this. You, you have a lot of wisdom with, I can't get over this. This King of Cups is getting weighed and measured. And he's going to get it. Whatever he dished out to you, he's going to get in return. All the masculines will. And I'm not saying that to be a stinker. It's just this turnaround is here. The clarifying card on the Two of Pentacles was freaking the High Priestess. Y'all know. It's just you're reluctant to drop it. Drop them like a damn hot potato. If you don't, you're going to struggle. And I don't know what's up with this bully person, these bully groups. They lie. They lie. They misrepresent. They do whatever it is they have to do because I don't know. They're lacking something. They feel they feel like you know they need to one up a a Pisces or a high priestess or someone who sits in the authority of themselves. Oh, they might even call you a know it all spirit saying. But you're happy. <laughs> or you want to be. Or you're being divinely guided by your ancestors, your family, what you hold dear in your heart, Ten of Pentacles, which breaks down to a number one.
And this, this guy here, I don't know. He was at the Four of Cups with you guys. I'm going to offer it. I'm not going to offer it. Will she accept my offer? I don't know if I'm going to ever offer anything. I'm just at the four. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. And I'm worried that I'm going to get rejected. And why are they worried that they're going to get rejected? Why are they worried? Why can't they make up their mind? Why? I don't know, but they have been spying on you. They backstabbed you. They're spying. They're secretly spying and watching. They have other things that they might have betrayed you. I don't know why this king is, is reluctant. Maybe he's afraid to tap into his own emotions. Maybe he has dark information that he's hiding. Dark thoughts. I don't know. Four of Cups came out again. Maybe he doesn't think he's worthy of you. But still... But still, there is the offer of the cup. This person is afraid of rejection. That's why he doesn't take action. That king needs to get therapy. Two, two, and two. You guys are going to receive information. I don't know if it's going to make a difference. Because you're not in any dang mood today. You're sick of being juggled. You know what you deserve. And boy, oh boy, you know. they've More to come is what I'm hearing from the Holy Spirit. And, and get this, you guys. They've taken you through so much shite. That's why you're reluctant. You're like, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Rodeo number 2024. Kind of boring. You coming with the same old crap. You want me to start over. You want me to believe in you. You want me to take a leap of faith. And then what do they do? Leave you hanging. They leave you all alone to fend for yourself. Whoever this character is, they're detached from reality in some aspect of their heart. Two. So this is like a cycle that you guys have been doing with this guy. The juggling thing. Five of Wands. Why are we fighting? What are we? What's the matter here? Right? And then they swoop back in. Oh, and then they love bomb you again. It's a cycle. It's a cycle of abuse. That maybe only a real therapist can really like. You have to. You have to figure out what your triggers are. You have to understand that you want to expand on things that are balanced, that are loving, that are kind. A good fi family dynamic. Maybe not, you know, it doesn't, nothing's picture perfect, right? Also, I'm picking up on somebody who really pays attention to women's rights. And different communities, you know, the LBGTQ and gay rights. 
And that's, that's reasonable and that's good work. Everyone is, nobody should be judged by their sexual orientation ever. Get a clue. Man, somebody, you know, there could be a good judgment coming down for women, you guys. I don't watch that news, you know. I got too much, I got too much going on in the, in the world. I don't even have time for myself. I guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, listening to this, the power is within you. You have a life path. You have a destiny. You have a good karma, a dharma here. And it's all, it's for everyone. The North and the South Node are where they're at. And the Aries energy was here with the uh, North Node in Aries right now. It'll be there until January or February. I don't know the exact date. I have to look it up. You guys could be a Life Path 9, a Life Path 8. Here's the number 25. My little cuties. Look at you. Little squirrels. So cute. Got your little shield. You know how to walk on the wires. Squirrels are so cute. Here you are. Here's a tower in the sun. I love you guys. My heart is breaking for all of you. I love you so much. Break free of the tower. Break free of the old cons constructions. In your mind, in your heart, in your soul. Let it go. Heal. Look out. Nine of Pentacles and Healing Heart. Look, man, someone is going to love you right. But first and foremost, please love you. Judgment Day is here, mofos. Get out the way. Pisces seems to always offer love and sanctuary. Come to the bosom and rest. Wake up and feel good and know your value and your worth. And you have all the tools, the magic here. Six of wands. Whether or not anyone knows or sees is irrelevant. Spirit knows. You know. And you're looking straight ahead. Six of cups, three of cups, ten of wands. And for God's sake, keep your head up, Pisces. And don't fall into these weird-ass traps. These, these traps. These mental traps. I want you to rise above. This is about rising above and beyond. The old. And you will have to take a leap of faith. And you will have to let go. And you will have to believe in yourself. And you'll be tested and you'll be tried to stand up and keep your boundaries. So people don't play with your emotions. You got to, Pisces got to cut. You got to cut. Do the, do the cutting. It's, we're in the fall. You got to cut them. Got to cut it. Okay, boo-hoo, you know. You guys were left crying too, just so you know. You forgot about that, right, Pisces? Because you, you wiped your tears away. You, you healed. You got your cup full again. Spirit wants the cycle to end. And let the healing begin. Do You're going to do it all different. Certain things will stay the same, but you're not going to spiral out of control. You're going to pay attention. You've cleaned up your act, Pisces. Ace of Wands. You have. Ten of Cups and Justice. You still, you still have the hurt and the pain. I'm going to move on. The mother wounds, your self-confidence, warrior spirit. I 
I want to break down the Eight of Pentacles to you. This is just no, this is not just anything. The Eight of Pentacles is right before the Nine and the Ten. You know how to do this. You guys know. You just put one foot in front of the other. You get to your education or whatever it is that your life work is. I, I don't live in you guys' shoes. I don't know what floats your boat. But you guys do. You guys know what excites you. You guys know what makes your heart sing, what makes, what creates passion in this new inspiration. It clears out all the cobwebs. It's the light. It is the fire and the passion that drives you. Maybe it's your heart. Maybe... Anyway, you guys know, right? These this feminine energy is seated. She's gaining wisdom and knowledge. Things are being balanced out in so many ways. I think we get the justice card in every dang reading like in the first nine cards, from tiny things, big things can grow. That reminds me of, that reminds me of, uh, I want you guys to take out the thing that Life has to be difficult. It doesn't. Get that nine of swords out of your mind. Just get it out of your mind today. Life is easy. Life is fun. Life is beautiful. Things come and go. You guys already know. You guys have been here on the channel with me. You know who used to be here all the time. I don't, I don't hide these cards away and never, ever look at them. You guys got this. Have a good day.